This is the femur, more commonly known as the thigh bone. Now, we're going to look at some parts of the femur. We look at the most superior part. We see this round part that looks like a head, like a bald man's head. It's the head of the femur, and where there's a head, there's a neck. So we have the anatomical neck of the femur. If there's an anatomical neck, we probably have a surgical neck. The surgical neck is about here. We're going to be cutting that off if someone was doing a hip replacement. There's a large attachment for muscle here on the bone. This is called the greater trochanter. If there's a greater, there's probably a lesser, the lesser trochanter below and on the medial side. If we go down to the distal end of the femur, we see there's this little triangular uh, area indentation here. And this is actually where the patella is going to ride. And that's called the patellar surface. Now you'll notice that there is um, these two little knuckles of bone here. We commonly refer to those as condyles. So we're going to have up above it this expanse before the condyle. We're going to call that the medial and lateral epicondyle. So if you want to know which side is right and which side is the left femur, we know that the femur, the head, is always going to point in towards the body, so the body would be here. And we know the patella, the kneecap, is on the front, so we're obviously looking at the front with the body here, so therefore this would be a left patella. Now let's turn this bone around and look at the back, and what we're going to notice is on the back of the femur, we're going to see that there is a line of bone, and this is actually the gluteal tuberosity, and the gluteal tuberosity is a point of muscular attachment for the muscles of the uh, gluteus family. Then there's a long line right in the center of the bone here. This is called the linea aspera. Then finally, we're gonna see our lateral and medial condyles and we're going to see the intercondylar notch in between the two condyles.